Do you want to learn what chain piecing is and how it can be a game changer in your piecing and patchwork? Let me show you today what chain piecing is and how you can maximize your efforts and time in piecing to make your sewing go by so much more quickly. Today, let me show you how chain piecing can be not only efficient in saving thread, but it can also be efficient with your time and also a bonus tip of how to prepare yourself for chain piecing. You can chain piece any type of block that you're sewing together, whether it's half square triangles or square, any two blocks that you're placing right sides together and you need a quarter inch seam on it, you can chain piece it. So here I have some half square triangles and some squares that I'm going to be sewing together. So I wanna show you how I can organize all of these to maximize my chain piecing. To maximize your efficiency with chain piecing, what I like to do is prepare all my blocks together and have them stacked together next to me on my sewing machine so that I can just chain piece one at a time. Chain piecing isn't as efficient if you're not prepared for the chain piecing. So I encourage you to look at the blocks that you need to sew together, organize them in a way that you can pin them and take them all over to the sewing machine at one time for chain piecing. Here's a tip for you, if I'm chain piecing piecing blocks within a quilt that I already have laid out, I will actually put them up on my design wall and take a picture and then I can refer to that picture after I've chain pieced everything together to reassemble it back into larger blocks. So I have half square triangles and squares. Now I'm going to get my blocks ready for piecing. And with these two half square triangles, I don't have any seams to match. So I'm simply going to line up the raw edges and then put a pin. Now, if you don't like to pin, then you're already upset with me, but listen to my rationale. Pinning in this case, you can also use wonder clips, is just to hold the block together to remind us that this is where we're going to be sewing, because you don't wanna just take this block over to the sewing machine right now to chain piece because if it gets turned around, then you're going to get confused about which side you're actually sewing together and then you'll need to stop and refer back to something and it's just wasting time. So a simple pin here, it's not necessarily holding a seam together, it's really just a reminder. That's why I mentioned you can also put a wonder clip here if you'd like. And then once I have the block ready, then I just put it to the side. So even with just two squares of fabric, I'll put a pin right here in this direction and again, this is a reminder of where I'm sewing so that when I put it over here in my stack, I know exactly what I'm doing next. And then I'll just continue with the rest of my squares and blocks. Now in this case, I do have seams that I need to match. So what I like to do is go ahead and match those seams and then put a pin there. And this one is actually holding my seam together. So I want to make sure that I sew in that area. So that's not just a reminder pin, that's a pin holding my seams together. And then I just will put a reminder pin here down at the bottom. Okay, I have all of my blocks pinned, whether it's a reminder pin or a pin actually holding a seam together. And you can see I've made a little stack with all of the pins on this side. So what I'm going to do is take this over to my sewing machine. Now I'm at my sewing machine and I have my blocks that are here ready for chain piecing. And so as I mentioned, organizing yourself before you begin sewing is so critical because now I'm organized to be able to put as many blocks through at one time as I can to sew together and then move on to the next step as opposed to sewing and then stopping cutting your threads and moving on. You'll just see chain piecing is just so much quicker. So the first step in chain piecing is to go ahead and get started with our first block. My seams are all lined up and I'm ready to sew my first seam. Now that we're done with this, you want to make sure that you stop with your needle down and just take about four or five extra stitches after your block and then we're going to go to our next block. Now again, in this block, I didn't have any seams to line up, so this was a reminder pin. So I'm just going to line up my edges 
and I like to just raise the presser foot a little bit to line that block up ready to go but we have our block back here remember we took a few extra stitches and our needle is down and then we're just going to continue sewing the next block again I stop with my needle down after taking a few extra stitches and you can see so far we have our two blocks being held together with one piece of thread essentially making the chain as we're chain piecing along so we'll do the same thing with our next block now remember this pin is holding my two seams together after I match those this was a reminder pin so I can take that out and then match this up and then sew and then I can remove my pen when I am approaching that area. But just remember, no cutting of your threads at this point. Again, we stop with our needle down, taking a few additional stitches, and then we're just going to continue on sewing each of our blocks together. And now that I've come to my last block, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my threads. And then you'll see that we have chain pieced all of these blocks together, all being held together with a thread. Sometimes when I'm chain piecing, I do like to chain piece in block order. So this last block may be the first block in my quilt. And so if it is, or if I'm sewing in that manner where, where everything was ordered a certain way before taking it to my sewing machine, then I don't just randomly cut my threads. I will make sure that I cut the threads and then take the next block and place it on top so that I can have my larger block in order. Otherwise, all we do at this point is cut our threads. Now I wanna show you a super neat trick of how I cut my threads quickly too. I wanna share this cute notion with you. This is a Clover brand thread cutter. There's all sorts of other brands out there, but essentially this is a plastic stand holding a rotary blade inside. And it allows us to place this on our work surface. And then when you're cutting threads, you just simply place the thread over the blade and it cuts it. And it allows you to do it much quicker. It's obviously much more ergonomic because you aren't using snips or scissors. So when I'm chain piecing and really trying to be productive, this is a lifesaver. Let me show you. So we have our thread in the middle and then we're just gonna place it over that blade and it's cut. And look at how nice that is. And you'll notice too, you can see the extra threads that I have after cutting. That's why we take those extra few stitches to make sure that we have enough that can be cut. And then you don't want to cut too close to your block because then it can start to affect your seam. So that extra space just allows us the room to make the cut and then still have enough extra on our blocks. Now I'm going to continue cutting my threads. And look at how simple that was. And now I have all of my blocks that have been pieced together ready for the next step. Now at this point, I would want to do the same thing that I did before, and that's lay my blocks out and prepare everything for the next seam. So let's go ahead and take our blocks back over to the work surface. Now at this point, I would decide which blocks are being sewn together. And these were just random squares, so I don't have an actual quilt block that I'm, ass that I'm assembling. I'm just showing you this for an example. So let's say that I wanted these blocks sewn together, and then I want these blocks sewn together. As I did before, I lay everything out how I want it to be sewn together and then placing them right sides together. Now I haven't pressed my seams yet, but if I did, I would want to be nesting my seams and then go ahead and put a pin there. And then if there are any other areas that I need to pin, I would go ahead and do that. But now we have, again, our side that needs to be sewn and a pin. So we'd get that ready to go. And then I do the same with any other blocks that I have. Again, this you can chain piece anything. 
together as long as you can put it right through after another. If you were making four at a time, eight at a time, half square triangles, or four at a time flying geese, you could put those blocks through as well. Anything that needs to be sewn together, you can chain piece it. So then I have this block as well and my next block and I would stack everything up ready to go and then take it over to my sewing machine. So remember, preparing everything ahead of time makes chain piecing so much faster. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so I can keep making free content for you. Bye for now.